In the current climate of rising prices, many people will be looking to downsize to more manageable options. Some might go to extremes and buy a van to live in, but that requires somewhere to park it and get utility services. One well, viable option might be to purchase a narrowboat. And if you think that's a bit of a dotty idea, then think again, for dotty might just be the best option for you. Dotty is a 31-foot sea otter built in 2005 with a 6-foot 10 inches beam and thus suitable for all UK canal networks. Unlike most narrowboats, Dotty is constructed of marine-grade aluminium rather than traditional steel. This gives her the advantage of not having to take her out of the water every two years and get a hull backed, an expensive and reoccurring cost. Let's look at the engine. This is located under three deck boards that were replaced with marine grade ply in 2023. Rainwater is safely drained from the channels to the outside of all four corners. The engine is a 21 horsepower inboard Nandy diesel that is very economic. Much of the electrics are located below deck, including battery charging and what's needed for monitoring the solar panels. For maintenance, it's recommended that the oil and fuel filters are changed every two years. There is an inbuilt hand operated pump for taking the old oil out. Then unscrewing the two filters and screwing in new ones before replacing the oil. That's it, job done. The immersion heater that supplies hot water to Dotty is located in the engine compartment with space for the storage of spare diesel fuel, oil and a spare toilet unit. There are three batteries on Dotty, all new in 2022. One 75 amp hour for the engine startup and the other two 110 amp hour batteries for leisure, that is lighting and utilities. The leisure batteries are topped up by two solar panels on the roof. Time to go inboard. In the left compartment are the controls for switching from shore based power to on board power and for switching to 240 mains power with a new 2000 watt inverter. There are six 13 amp sockets on board. Under the compartment is a Calagas blow heater that gives central heating to Dotty through three outlets, one in the ensuite shower room and two in the cabin, all controlled from a rotary switch located on the galley wall. Two gas propane bottles are located under the bow hatch. On the other side is the shower room containing a loo and wash hand basin. A shower head serves the basin with hot and cold water and when required transferred to the shower point. A handy switch turns on a pump to extract the water from the basin's tray. The loo has towel rails and storage shelves and a container unit on the right to keep the toilet paper dry. The left unit pushes and turns to activate the flush and open the sealed container. And when full, the container is easily removed and sealed automatically to avoid spillage. Above the container is a reservoir that's filled with a mixture of water and blue toilet fluid to kill germs and bacteria. Onboard living facilities include a gas stove with four burners, a grill and an oven. Also a fridge with a freezing compartment and plenty of space for keeping food cool. Ample storage space is also provided in the galley with above and below units for food and drawers for cooking utensils. The sink tap provides both hot and cold water brought up from below deck. Under the front bench there is a pump and pressure balloon that delivers £40 per square inch to the water taps. The unit also contains an easy to clean filter. There is a massive storage space for bedding located under the bench seats and under the single seats. For dining there is an area for two with comfortable seats. 
and if entertaining guests, there is a separate table that can be set up between the two bench seats. For the evening's entertainments, there is a choice between an inbuilt radio with four speakers in the roof or a 12 volt television with DVD facility. And when it's time to go to bed, there are a few options. The first option is just to crash out on the two side units, or pull out a centre board halfway and set up a standard size double bed, or pull out the centre board all the way and make up a king size bed or two adjoining singles. By dropping the table top down, the dining area also converts into a single bed or two bunk beds by fixing a secondary board on top. Dotty is currently on a permanent Canan and River Trust mooring at Sellers Bridge. Included in the sale will be two months of free mooring from the day of completion. As Dotty is only 31 foot long, can be towed on the road with a suitable car and trailer. The new purchaser will also benefit from a Canal and River Trust boat licence until October 2024 and insurance until September 2024 with insurer for boats permission, plus a boat safety certificate until March 2025. Based on the year 2023, the cost of keeping Dotty was just £88.30 per month, excluding the mooring fee but any new owner can avoid paying that under the continuous cruising option, as most boat owners do. All for an asking price of 42250 Interested potential purchasers should contact me at tony.latham95 at gmail.com.